Hi there, this is Mike Lopez, and in this video we're going to be looking at trigonometric identities. Let's start with an example, shall we? Uh, how about a voltage signal Vs is equal to 10 times the sine of T times the cos of T. And what we'd like to do is first of all simplify this and to do that we're going to be using double angle formulae and then we'd like to find that voltage signal amplitude um, when time is equal to 3 pi by 2 Okay, so that's what we're hoping to accomplish. Now then, so we look in the table of double angle formulae. Double angle formulae. And we see this identity the sine of 2t equals 2 times the sine of t times the cos of t. Okay, so what we're hoping to do is to convert this to look something like this. Now to be able to do that of course um, we can multiply this thing by 5. Well, if we do that, of course, to make it actually equal on both sides, we need to also multiply this thing by 5. Though over on the right-hand side, that's then going to give us 10 sine t cos t, which is what our initial problem is. Okay, so that's what we do. So we're going to write... Um, change to red. So I'm going to write 5 sine 2t equals 10 sine t cos t. So therefore, we pretty much have simplified the thing. Um, that is a representation of our voltage signal here, a simplification of it. Okay, so we only have one trig term sine rather than two here, we've got sine and cos. Okay, so the second stage then, so we're going to put t equals three pi by two, as we've been asked to do here. Okay, which then is going to give us Vs equals 5 sine of 2 lots of t. 2 lots of, well, let's use brackets, 3 pi by 2, like so. Okay, so the t part is in the inner brackets there. And what we notice is, of course, that those 2s will cancel. And we end up with Vs equals 5 times the sine of 3 pi. Okay, and then we go ahead and simplify further. The sine of 3 pi is 0, so this is 5 times 0, which of course is 0. And because we're dealing with voltage of here, the answer is zero volts. Oh, okay, let's now have a look at a second example. Okay, e.g., why don't we try to simplify IS? Okay, supply current is equal to 
the sine of i1 times the cos of i2 plus the cos of i1 times the sine of i2. Okay, this thing is in amps, so we can put amps on the end there. And to solve this, we just refer to our table of compound, not double angle, but compound angle formulae. Okay, so when we go away and inspect that, what we notice is that the sine of A plus B is equal to the sine of A cos B plus cos of A times the sine of B. And what we're noticing is that this looks very much like what's up here. So we've got sine cos plus sine cos. That term is that one. That term there is that one, etc. Uh, this term here is that one. And that term there is that one there. So all we need to write in then is, therefore, is is equal to the sine of I1 plus I2. And it's as simple as that. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.